Okay, so this is that's y equals x cubed the curve, and that's p, which is 0 0.327. So that means I go all the way down to here. That's three. I need to know what this is. The value is there. So I'm going to have to work out. I want the area a. I'm going to work out the area all the way under the curve, and then take away the area of that triangle. So it needs to. I find out what q is. So I need to know the equation of this line, and the equation will be y equals mx plus c. So I need a gradient of it. So uh, gradient function, which is dy by dx, that equals uh, 3x squared. So when x equals 3, uh, gradient, that would be the m, equals 3 times 9, which is 27. So I get y equals 27x plus c. I need to find c by subbing any point on that line, and we know it goes through the point 3, 27. As always, that's the first x is that one, that's y. So y, 27 equals 20. 27 times by 3 plus c, so c will equal minus 54. So I get y equals 27x minus 54. I want to find out this value here, which is when y equals 0. So when y equals 0, that says that 27x minus 54 equals 0. So 27x equals 54. So x equals 2. So now I can work out what it is. The a, so area a equals the area underneath the curve between 0 and 3 of x cubed with respect to x. Take away the area of triangle b. And don't forget that's 2. We just worked out x is 2 at that point there. So that equals x cubed, so I have to increase the power, so we're integrating, and that will be a quarter between 0 and 3, and then take away half times the base of the triangle, from 2 to 3 is obviously 1, times the height, which is 27. Put in 3, so that will equal a quarter of 3 to the power of 4, take away, put in 0, that will be 0, and then minus, that will be 13. And a half, and that equals a quarter times by three three is nine eighty one. Take away thirteen and a half, and that equals six and three quarters. And that is the area. Got no units for it, but um, that's done.